All right, the victim today of my mechanical aptitude is this 2003 Ford Excursion. Uh, today I will be taking off the left front door panel. So that's the driver's door panel. And all you're going to need for this is a ratchet with a little extension, a 7 millimeter, and a small flat screwdriver. Now my courtesy light cover is already gone, has been for years, but you just put the screwdriver right there and it pops out nice and easy. And then right behind that is this 7 millimeter bolt, and that's the first bolt you want to take off. After that, uh, you need to remove the master switch panel right here. And you kind of want to get at this with your thumbs, and I realized it was a little bit hard to see, so I did reshoot this part. And um, to give you a little bit of better angle. So what you do is, towards the front of it, you actually want to use your thumbs and push up on it, and you can get it to pop loose. Now some things will say use a flat screwdriver, but don't do that because you'll leave marks on it. So you just push your thumbs right there in the front, the front will pop up and then slides forward just a little bit. And then put it back in, just the opposite of that, and just snap straight down. This little panel here, right above the door panel towards the mirror, just pulls straight out and has those type of clips. And you can put them right back in, just by pushing them straight back in again. Just wanted to add that little bit of clarification for that. Um, underneath this master panel, there is four different connections. And they are tight, so you have to wiggle them quite a bit to get them out. Uh, luckily, though, they just have those regular squeeze tabs instead of something you have to use a, a tool or a screwdriver for. Taking off that panel exposes that 7 millimeter bolt right there. So this is the second and last bolt. Go ahead and take that out, and then you'll be ready to lift it out. Now, when you lift this thing out, uh, basically you just put... A little bit of lift that's me taking that plate off again uh, you just put a little bit of lift on the panel and it will completely come loose actually a really well designed panel if you ask me and right there up and then you just reach around the back right there and disconnect the bulb for the uh, courtesy light you just turn the socket itself just a little bit clock or counterclockwise and it'll pop out and then installation is just the opposite of that. You bring the panel back over. All these little tabs right here all help it slide into position. So what you want to do is start the bottom tabs so you can hook it on there and have the door hold the weight for you. Then take the courtesy light socket and twist that back on. And then what you want to do is lift up a hair, push it forward, and then snap it down and then you just go through and make sure everything seems tight uh, those little notches that are all over the back side hold it really well and then you just put your seven millimeter back in I'm doing the courtesy light one first and then the the uh, bolt up there by the master switch uh, be careful and don't drop the bolt down in the door because it would be hard to find and you have to take the panel back off and then back for the master switch got to plug those four connections oh I'm sorry that's the uh, little beauty panel right there just line it up and whack it straight in now the master kit Just take and get all four of your wires out, plug them all back in the right spot. They only go in one spot, so it's not like you can mix them up. Plus, they should be stiff, and uh, they basically stay where you, where you unplug them. That's one, two, three, and four. And then start the back of the plate. towards the handle and then snap down the front. That's it, you're good to go. Uh, normally you would need to put the courtesy light piece back on, but obviously not for me. All right, that's the video. If it helped you out, go ahead and hit that like button for me. 
I still do have that video coming out about moving my front axle forward about an inch, so that should drop next week.